Hello guys, welcome back. So in the last video, we discussed uh, how we can define function in Python. Also like how we can uh, do uh, doc string that actually contains uh, information about function. Also we have seen like how we can return value to the uh, main body of the code. So in this video, we will continue our function learning and see that how we can pass arguments to the function. So in the last video, we have seen like uh, we can access uh, variables in the main body of the code in the function, like uh, in this example, the name. So name variable is accessible in uh, function. Then why do we need uh, arguments to pass here? I will tell you why it is uh, needed with two cases. Case one is, uh, let us say we have another name. So let us say we have name one. And let us say we have name two. Um, so if I need to print uh, name one, I need to change the variable name here in the function itself, meaning by we are changing the function itself. So let us run it. So it says, hello, Rajan, good morning. And if I need to uh, use name two, I need to change the function again. So you can see. So the first point is like if there are multiple inputs for which we want to call the function, uh, we need to have a way like uh, passing that particular input to the function. That's where we need arguments. The second case is simply like if we don't want to create a variable itself. So for example, I can simply say like uh, here, okay, I need uh, to call Rajnath tail. So how we can do it? So this is simply like uh, we can add an argument, say let us say we are saying name and then simply call it So here, you can see here. So now if I will call the function with the name, it will simply print it. So you can see it simply like you add the argument here and simply pass the value that will, uh, that will be copied to this particular variable and then simply uh, it is accessible in the function. So now if I will uh, simply change it to the variables like uh, name one print and then let us say I want to print I want to call again. So let us say we want to call it with name two. So you see so you see it's really simple like uh, you simply added a name or added a variable here and you simply pass uh, arguments from the main body of the code and uh, that is uh, uh, used in the function. So, uh, uh, so now you understand like why you need arguments in uh, functions. So next, uh, let us try to understand uh, what is positional arguments. So let us define another uh, uh, method. Let us say we want to have a, simply let us complete. So let us say we want to uh, greet with message like custom message. So it will be uh, with a message as well. So message and simply replace this good morning with a message. Now it needs, uh, so this particular function now have two uh, inputs or two arguments. One is name and then we have a message. So we need to call it with those two arguments. So, so let us say greet message. Now if you run it, it will throw error because uh, the second argument is missing. So let us see that. So let us run it. So you see it says missing one required positional arguments. So what happens is like, uh, so this particular value, first value goes to the first argument and the second value if we add, for example, I will say, how are you? So this second value will go to the message. So this is like positioning. So first position goes to first argument, 
second position goes to the second argument in the function. So now if you run it, you will see like, uh, so let us print it actually, we didn't print it. I run it again. If you can see it is, uh, even you can change it here, like I can say, hello, good morning. Of course, we can change the name as well. Let us say, let's run it again. So you can say. Next, let us try to uh, see like what is default arguments. So default arguments, uh, you can see something like. Uh, uh, if I will fix here the message, so like uh, if we don't pass the message, it will simply say good morning. And if we pass the custom message, it will use that particular message for the greeting. So let us uh, implement it. So let us say we want to uh, say, so message is equal to, so we simply fix it like say good morning. comment this out now let us try it so what happened what will happen is if we don't pass this message argument so it will set it to default value like good morning and then it will use uh, here in the return statement so let us run it and see you see good morning now if we will pass a custom message, let us say, how are you? It will simply use that. So it will override this default value and use this particular message that we passed in the argument. So let us run it and you can see, you see, Rajkumar, how are you? So this is uh, like uh, default arguments where we actually assign a value in the function definition and that will be used when we don't pass that particular value when we are calling the function otherwise uh, it will use the value which we will pass in the function call so i think that's clear one more thing that uh, we will learn in this video is uh, keyword arguments so let us try to understand that so we can use argument names as well to call the uh, to to assign the value to that particular argument so let us try to understand with example actually. So it is mainly related to function call as uh, I have added in the comment as well. So what uh, what is the keyword argument is simply instead of calling with uh, values only, we can say message is equal to this and name is equal to this. So now actually we are uh, saying message equal to Rajkumar and name is equal to how are you. So now it is like we have uh, the position, first position is message, like uh, by default this is a name and this is a message, whereas we actually change it, like we have assigned the argument name uh, a value here directly. So it will simply use this as a message and this as a name. Let us uh, uh, print it. We will see here. So you see, so name is actually changed here as a how are you and Rajkumar is actually greeting. So here actually uh, using keyword arguments, we can specify like which particular, uh, uh, which particular uh, argument we are giving this particular value. So here, order doesn't matter like uh, if we will we have many arguments we can pass them using various order it doesn't matter but one thing you always remember like you cannot uh, you cannot pass non keyword argument after keyword argument so what does that mean is so if you pass message is equal to this first and then try to pass this even the pie charm is saying it is wrong but it is like it is not allowed. So simply it will complain like you cannot uh, use a, 
um, non keyword argument after keyword argument. So if you run it, it will uh, throw that error simply saying that. So positional argument follows keyword argument. So that is not allowed. So I think it is, uh, uh, I think it should be clear now that uh, what are the ways uh, passing arguments in a, a Python function. In the next video, we will try to understand how uh, it is different than passing arguments in other languages, like uh, whether it uses a pass by uh, value or pass by reference. So we will see in the next video. So thanks for watching. See you in the next. Bye for now. Take care.